so in two dimensions, um, we now have two terms, uh, d squared by dx squared of the potential plus d squared by dy squared of the potential, and that's going to equal zero. Okay. And this is a classic partial differential equation. Um, you know, you try to have the acceleration of one be equal to the acceleration of the other at all points. Um, unfortunately, in order to solve this particular equation, we're going to need um, an infinite number of constants to our resulting equation, um, meaning we're going to have some kind of series. Um, the other thing we need is we need an infinite number of boundary conditions, right? So, um, you know, if we're dealing in real space, we need lines. That, that surround the region that we're looking at, or circles, you know, with infinite number of points. And to kind of visualize what a solution would look like, you know, imagine that you had, um, let's say, like a square region, and then you, along those edges, you had, you know, different boundary conditions like that. And what would happen if you took a rubber sheet and stretched it over the surface is roughly similar to what the Laplace's equation would give. And in the footnotes, uh, Griffiths has the actual equation it gives you if you're, if you're curious. I, I'm not. <laughs> so it, it's some surface that kind of represents what rubber sheet would do. And um, the two facts still hold um, that we talked about in the first dimension. The first fact is that for any uh, potential at x and y, it's going to be equal to 1 half or 1 over like 2 pi r, let's say we're going to do some circle, right, of the potential at some circle radius r um, times the uh, length of that line segment around that circle. So we're just going to take basically, uh, use a different color here, and again I'm going to kicking myself for not drawing a bigger, so we're going to take like a circle here, and we want to find the point right above that circle. So we're going to take the the circle of its neighbors and average that and we'll get this we'll get the point the value at the point and this leads to something called the method of relaxation which is um, pretty useful for computers to solve equations like these the way this works it's it's a, it's a simple algorithm relax a shun is it um, you start off with an assumption of what the values are um, it doesn't have to be very good and then you just start averaging uh, each of the different regions, including the boundary condition. So the boundary condition is going to start moving certain points up or down. And just keep averaging, and after a while, the the function is going to stabilize and you'll have your solution. It's a numerical method that's pretty effective. Um, the other thing to note is that there is no local mit max or min. Okay, and he talks about if you took a ping pong ball and dropped it on that surface, it would roll off because the minimums and maximums all occur at the boundary conditions. Okay, and uh, the other interesting thing is that, you know, the geometry used to fulfill the boundary conditions is the minimum geometry. So um, his point is that if you've ever had, you know, one of those uh, cans with a pop, uh, it's like you, you buy a jar of jam and if you, if you open it up and close it and you, you touch the top, it'll pop. That's because there's two different surfaces that satisfy the boundary conditions of that particular jam jar. But Laplace's equation would demand that there's only one solution um, that doesn't pop back and forth. It just, it's just there. So, next is 3D, which is where it gets really fun. <laughs>